Uh, are you planning to get a new tattoo soon? Yes, actually, um, on, on this next tour, I'll probably, hopefully, meet up with a really great tattoo artist and, and do something. How many do you have with them? Four. 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 And I think I'm going to even out all of them, because I have one here. And there's this one. It's show and tell time. There's, there's this one. And I have a guitar and, and sunflowers and wheat and a rose. My grandma's name is Rose. And 111 is a lucky number. Rasta teeth. Who doesn't love that? Um, heart on my sleeve, right? And then I have a Scorpio tattoo here, and then a peace sign of the four elements here. So this is an empty space. And I was going to put this here, but it was really, it was bigger than any other tattoo I had on my back. And the middle one is like a circle. So if it's bigger than that circle, then it just looks off balance, and I don't want to do it. But I think uh, Carlos might be getting, at least he said he wants to get another one. Who knows? That, w that first one was a big step for him, guys. I remember walking in. Oh, I walked in, we were in Salt Lake, and I got out of the bus, and I walked in the dressing room, and I heard, eh, 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 and I was like, that sounds like a tattoo gun. <laughs> and I walk around, and I see Carlos lying on the thing on his side in the middle of this tattoo, and I jumped with elation. I was so happy. I was like, I cannot believe you actually went through with this, man, because it was a big tattoo, and he got it on his ribs, which is the absolute worst place to get one. And I was so happy, and he's like, honestly, if I didn't do it, I knew I was going to get so much crap, so I just had to lay down and get it done. And I was like, I don't think that's the necessarily the best reason to get a tattoo, but uh, he got it. it. There's so many meanings in his tattoo. If you guys ever get a chance to talk to him, he'll have to explain it, but there's like 50 meanings in his tattoo. It's like all different. Each little... Did he draw it himself? Well, he sat there with the guy and was like, I, in, I, I want something in tribal, link, or in tribal drawing that means this. And like, this means family, and this means uh, passion, and this means like rocks for like wealth and like always trying to keep you know yourself doing well and like all that just, just so many different meanings the sun and all this kind of stuff um, super super warrior tattoo honestly if you could pick someone here's the, here's a here's a, a, a great question if you could pick someone to narrate your life who would it be and she said she's suggesting Morgan Freeman <laughs> which I'm in I'm in someone said get a tattoo of my face <laughs> Watch when that happens. <laughs> How'd you know what I look like? I don't know, it was just a guess. All right, two more questions. And then I'm going to let you guys carry on with your day. I want to make sure they're good ones, though. Let's make sure. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Here's a funny one. How do you get along with Dustin? Pretty good. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, we're, we've been friends for almost, I think, probably 10 years now. And... Um, He's been everywhere in the world with us, uh, all over Europe when we went. He went to South America, and he's played every show. We did the kids' first annual kids' state dinner at the White House, which was um, the third time that we had been there. And it was crazy because we were playing guitar in the, we were playing music in the state room. And it was apparently the first time that anybody had ever sat on the floor because the kids, there was a lot of kids, and they were like, we were like, why don't you guys come up and because it was really awkward to play to a table full of people eating dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and, so <we> were <laughs> um, and so we were like, everybody come sit on the floor. And then um, uh, the first lady came and pulled her chair up right in front of us and kind of sat. And si she was doing the woo-hoos when we were playing Windows Down. I'm like, woo-hoo! And I was like, this is really trippy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've, we've gone everywhere together. And um, yeah, we get along great. I mean, obviously, it's like the same thing with the boys in Big Time Rush. It's like you, you're like brothers with somebody, and you you fight about dumb stuff, but no, we get along great. Here's where I think it comes in trouble with boys, because they don't have the same taste in girls. No, we don't have the same taste in girls, and the other thing is, is that the approach is completely different. Well, it's just different, and there's a different level of confidence between, like, we each have our things that we're confident about, and, and talking, and I'm not necessarily the best about going up and like op opening a conversation, you know, but I, I can carry one on like, like no other, but like actually opening up the conversation is, is difficult, especially if I'm like nervous about it. Um, he's just more, and it's funny because Dustin's always been a shy guy. When I first met him, he was extremely shy, and then I don't know what happened, he just all of a sudden started becoming super outgoing, and, and like now I can always count on him for like to do something crazy and for a laugh, and I think 
honestly, and it, it's kept us all a little bit sane because it's like having the, uh, for Big Time Rush, it's like having the moderator. And I can't tell you how many times I've been like, can you believe him? God. Can you believe him? And he's like, I know, man. And then Carlos will go up to him and be like, can you believe Kendall? I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and then James will be like, ah, oh, God, Logan. He's just sometimes, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's always, he never picks a side. So he is the peacekeeper, and he never picks a side, which is probably a good idea because, you know, of course I'd ask him to pick my side because he's been my friend forever, but I know that I can't do that because it just wouldn't work. But he definitely keeps the peace. <laughs> Here's a good question to end it on right here. BTR Kendall 1, at BTR Kendall 1. If you were stuck on a boat with a lion out in the middle of nowhere, what would you do? Yeah. <laughs> Probably do something like this. Thank you, and I thank you, and I thank you.